which fusion is stronger? Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Kite. You may have seen me in top 8 of both CEO and East Coast Throwdown this year. I am currently a competitor and top player on the East Coast of America, and I am here to break down a character most people should be familiar with in this meta, Blue Gogeta. But before I do, make sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides like this, and check out their website for all things FGC. That was a great training session! So when discussing Blue Gogeta's best buttons, you're going to be looking into his air buttons initially. A key standout in his array of normals is his jump medium. This will do a lot for you with it being multiple overheads. It is very similar to the original Gotenks JL. Uh, sometimes you'll have them block the entirety of the hits, and sometimes only one will hit, and sometimes you'll get two to hit. It, it's kind of random, but you can do it purposefully if you really are nasty. Uh, this, Button is also a great button to stick out in air-to-air -air situations since it is very hit confirmable and it will lead you to his main combo brow that, uh, that I'll get into uh, in a little bit. Jump medium is a very hard button to contest in the air and uh, it'll lead to the opponent getting counter hit a lot of times, which is why you'll see a lot of higher level uh, Blue Gogeta players stick it out constantly. It is one of your key ways of catching your opponent and getting the party started, uh, jailing them into the ground. The next normal I want to talk about is his 5S. This button is really important because Gogeta Blue does not have a traditional Key Blast. He has an entire beam, uh, which has its pros and cons, obviously. Since this character is kind of susceptible to being kept out by Key Blast, since he doesn't have his own, this is actually very good uh, at catching people who are trying to camp you at the top of the screen like this. Uh, it is also a very good on the ground as a way of getting in since it jails into Vanish. Uh, and it also jails into the EX Rekka afterwards, which then allows you to call assist and then you, you're, you're inside basically. This is not foolproof however, because the opponent does have options here. Uh, you're allowed to reflect the beam and then backdash, uh, which will cause the Rekka to whiff. And it has a lot of landing lag and uh, you get a full punish. So I wouldn't recommend this being your primary way of getting in, just a way of keeping your opponent in check and letting them know that this is an option that you are putting on the table. Now for the real best button that he has, it, it's this 2H honestly. This is the key to everything that Blue Gogeta currently does on most teams that are made for him. Uh, he recovers before he hits the ground, which means he gets his air action back, and it leads to a mix up and blocked. Uh, he gets a chunk of damage off of this if you add an assist, but he also has routes that he can do solo to keep his knockdown. I will get a lot more in depth on this 2H in the next section. Become Dash Fight supporter on Patreon. Gain ad free browsing on our site. Click the link in the description. For this next section, I'm going to break down how you run offense with Blue Gogeta as well as team building, since a lot of how you create offense with him is dependent on your assist. It is the most straightforward aspect of the character, and he can use a majority of the cast as mix-up assist. However, the most optimized teams give him access to the first mix-up I'm going to be talking about, the 2H5050. Many of the newer mix-ups in the game have uh, gaps in between them, and, but this one does not. You can do strings such as 5L into 2H, and there will be no gap here. If you set the, the bot to guard first, he does not get hit. Uh, so the only catch here is that you would like a higher block stun assist to make the mix-up truly gapless, like Labco A assist. Uh, but if you're okay with having to reflect bait sometimes, it will work with lower block stun assists like a Dogo on DP assist. This mix-up is basically inescapable when done correctly because both the high and the low jail. So your only real option is to guard cancel. But when you guard cancel the 2H, he can cancel into super and punish you for big damage if he has extra bar you just get chunked basically uh, if you were to guard cancel vanish however you can escape for two bars but sometimes that happens and sometimes sometimes you'll be successful sometimes you won't if you delay it however this happens Oh, 
And sometimes if done better like that, he will switch you on landing. So this is basically not an escapable mi escapable mix up. You are forced to spark or take the, the hit, try to guess properly. The next mix up that he can do with most assist is off of his light into medium Rekka. And as you can see, there is a gap here. So this is why you will see a lot of Google Vita players stop here as a way to uh, bait reflect. But this medium Rekka puts him high enough in the air where he gets his air, his air dash. And uh, the, the low also has no landing lag. So this is the true 50 50. Uh, this is the most common one you'll see if their team is not built for the 2H mix up. Uh, so, yeah, this works with basically every system in the game. The last mix up you'll see uh, is off of Double Light Record, and this one does jail. Uh, the reason that they do this is uh, it sets up the fuzzy if they stand block, like such. Uh, and Basically, the reason that most people do stand block this is because of the threat of Light Wrecker into EX Overhead. So, if you set them to crouch, they'll get hit, you got a full wall bounce combo, and then, you know, they just die. So this is why people do respect the overhead, and you can take advantage of this, go for the fuzzy, if they do stand block. Uh, Gogeta uh, Blue really pairs up nicely with Key Blast Assist, such as Vegito. Uh, since his jump medium into light anti reflex, so he can just continue to put the pressure on him. See, he doesn't, even though uh, I made contact with the reflect, I do not get set flying back, and then I just stay in. Uh, he also has built in anti reflect uh, with his low as well, so reflecting this is very difficult. And this also means that he plays nicely with basically every character, and he can play his role on many teams. Uh, the reason, however, that he has played at top level with Vegito is one, Vegito's top tier, and two, uh, Vegito's assist covers uh, uh, his main weakness, in my opinion. So most of the time, Vegito is a must-play while uh, while picking this character. The best anchors for him, though, are Lab Coat and. Uh, Edward 17. They both give him access to all of the mix-ups that I mentioned previously, but both uniquely give him something. 17 keeps him extremely safe with the barrier, while Labco gives him a fast anti-key blast move to counter call against Vegito uh, assist. I'll elaborate why these are important shortly, but before I get into his strengths and weaknesses and how teams cover them up, I will first show you Gogeta's true purpose on this team, his combo potential. So Gogeta's combo game is actually pretty insane. He will essentially always two-touch you as long as you have DHCs. Uh, here I'm going to show you a few combos just to get you guys started. One mid-screen, two corner routes, and then a couple important situational routes to show you how crazy his uh, combos actually are. These routes are the ones you're going to be doing most of the time uh, since they net the most reward and the most corner carry. So for the first route, it's going to be his mid-screen reach up from J2H. <laughs> This combo gets you uh, to the corner from about 3 fourths to screen away. It works off of air to airs, off converting from assist, high scaling on jump ins, low scaling from mediums. It is old reliable essentially. It is a bit tricky to get initially since you have to learn how to time your super dash properly, but it is consistent once you get used to it. The great thing about this combo is if you are uh, too early on the super dash, you can still uh, continue, it just won't reach up, so it'll look something like this. But then you still are able to DP and combo, just like that. Uh, if you have access to an assist, uh, you're able to end in active tag DR instead of just doing DR uh, as your ender after the first DP. So that'll look like this. Just like that. And these are, this is basically what you'll do 95% of the time. 
For his corner routes, he has two main ones, a variation of the J2H rejump and a JH wall bounce combo. First, I will show you the rejump. This one is a lot easier than the mid screen one in my opinion, and it will be your go-to if you air-to-air -air them uh, in the corner or convert off a pop-up assist like Vegito. The second route is the more optimal and has two variations whether or not you will go for the kill or go for the knockdown. First I will go for the knockdown route and then I'll show you the damage route. The damage route is a combination of the two routes that I just did with an act attack ender. So this route is only useful if you have an assist available. And as you can see, and that's about an extra 380 damage, almost 400. Blue Gogeta is one of the most dangerous characters when his back is to the wall. With his EXDP sending them into the corner and giving him a full combo, he is an extremely hard character to pressure. So here I will be showing you a few combos to do in various situations you may find yourself in when in the corner. An EXDP combo and a few side switch routes. So firstly, the EXDP combo. When doing this combo, you want to be mindful of uh, using your supers at the end. Uh, since this combo is off of DP, it'll give them all blue life that they can recover. So if it's not going to kill, I recommend not spending your supers. The next combo will be off of 5L, and this is the most optimal side switch route that you can do off of jab. The trick here is to delay your air dash, and this is a very tight timing. It'll be tricky to get at first, but it is consistent once you practice. The last combo I'll show you is off as a side switch off of 2L. And the trick here is to delay your medium. And then it goes right into the rejump that I did previously. Like such. Now on to his strengths. Obviously it's pressure since he is the only character in the game with a jailing for 50 now. This used to be commonplace, but in this version this is very valuable to have. Along with his strong anti-reflect game, he never gets off of you and forces your opponent to risk double reflecting or taking another option uh, out of desperation. But I think his real strength is his ability to convert extremely well off of straight hits. He can two-touch you off of super dash if you have an assist, and he basically always gets the corner with a knockdown unlike other characters who have to sacrifice one for the other. So now for uh, his weaknesses, I will address two glaring issues, his frame data and his lack of safe neutral presence. Many of Gogeta's buttons are very committal such as 2M, 5M, and JH, which makes swinging with these buttons in neutral very risky. However, through the use of assists like Vegito and Android 17, that risk is mitigated even on block. Guard canceling Vegito is usually the, a good option when he goes deep into his strings, uh, but when you play Android 17, uh, this is a death sentence. So it is very hard for him to cancel into 2H here, as you can see. But you can call Android 17 on the action. However, if you do not play 17 with him, pressuring solo that far into the screens is risky, so just be mindful. Through uh, team building, this frame data issue can be fixed, uh, as well as his presence in neutral. Since many of his buttons have a lot of recovery, you won't be using them all the time aside from like JM and JL. Uh, this is where an assist like Vegito A comes in and allows him safe entry. Since it covers a lot of space and allows you to close the distance very quickly to use buttons like 5L, 2H, and jump medium. This is why uh, playing Vegito with him is basically a must. They synergize extremely well together and are arguably the best pairing in Dragon Ball Fighters currently. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. And as always, thanks for watching.
Let's <laughs> go. 